guys, how are you? So this morning and well throughout the day, Brock Turner was trending on Twitter and he was trending because they were saying he was set to speak at the Republican National Convention. Um, that is not true. Somebody said that as a joke and it just sort of took off and was trending for quite some time, but thankfully that's not true. But what is true are is the Democratic National Convention is in day two. I watched a little bit of it. I want to talk to you about it. Uh, also, there was a story that came out today. Uh, we know how this works. We've probably been sitting on this for quite some time and conveniently released them today. We already know how all of that goes. Um, but they were released and it has to do with uh, former President Clinton, who is also set to speak tonight at the Democratic National Convention. These pictures came out, there are 22 pictures that were released and it's of him on Jeffrey Epstein's plane and getting a massage by one of the Epstein victims. Um, but before, we all jump to conclusions. I actually do not think these pictures are that damning and I'll tell you why. So this trip in particular that the pictures were released from was a humani humanitarian trip to Africa. And um, it was Clinton, a few other celebrities, Epstein and a few other people, um, this 22 year old victim. Um, but she was on the trip as a hired masseuse. She actually wore a uniform and I believe she was performing like stewardess duties on the plane so she wasn't underage and she was there under the guise as a professional masseuse um and the pictures are of her um it's bill clinton and her they're in an airport i think in between flights or something and she's giving him a massage on her back and that was um i believe the what's that woman's name christine Maxwell, whatever her name is. She's the one that suggested they did this. Um, so there's a few pictures of Clinton getting a massage by this girl, and then a few more pictures on the plane and stuff like that. Um, the pictures I don't believe are damning because even the victim herself, although she is accusing Epstein of raping her and saying that she was an ongoing victim, um, she said that Bill Clinton on this trip was a gentleman and didn't do anything. And I mean, she's 22 years old. She's there as a hired masseuse. That was her job on the trip. So I don't think it's damning. I'm not saying Bill Clinton is innocent of all these stuff. I just don't think these pictures in particular. And also him and his team have already released a statement admitting that he was on this trip and that although he had a friendship with Epstein, he didn't know anything that was going on, which could be true on this trip, um, although that doesn't mean it was true all the time. They also said he only went on four trips on that plane when the logs show that Clinton, in fact, did 26 trips total and was on the island. So do that, do with that what you will, but he is set to speak tonight at the Democratic National Convention. Um, two other people I saw speak were Linda Sarsour and Michelle Obama. Linda Sarsour, I'm really surprised the Democratic Party is even still having affiliations with her and having her speak. Linda Sarsour was the co-chair on the Women's March and was kicked out because of really alarming anti-Semitic comments from her. She also has several tweets which she has since deleted and where she was, um, um, basically promoting Sharia law. Uh, she has another tweet, and this is the most disturbing. I'm going to read it to you. You can search all this online. She deleted all of these, um, I believe, when she joined the Women's March, but they're they're still online and you can find them. So Brigitte Gabriel and Ayan Hirsi Ali, this tweet is going to be about them. Um, Ayan Hirsi Ali um, escaped radical Islam and is a victim of female genital mutilation and now speaks out against radical, Muslim, um, radical Islam, um, specifically helping girls to escape radical Islam. Brigitte Gabriel is a Christian who grew up in the Middle East and lived in a bomb shelter for like 10, 10 years of her life. She also speaks out against radical Islam and terrorism. Um, so that's who these two women are. And I'm guessing that's why Linda Sarsour does not like them. Um, and this is a tweet from... It's from 2011, but, but to say anything like this ever is pretty disturbing. Um, the tweet, and keep in mind, this woman is co was co-chair of the Women's March. Um, the tweet says, Brigitte Gabriel and Ayan Hirsi Ali. She's asking, oh, Br Brigitte Gabriel equals Ayan Hirsi Ali. She's asking for an ass whipping. Wish I could take both of their vaginas away. They do not deserve to be women. And Linda Sarsour is very aware that um, Ayan Hirsi Ali is a victim of female and genital mutilation. So that is very disturbing. And this is who um, uh, was a co-chair of the Women's March. <laughs> and she said some very, she called jihad on President Trump in a, in a, um, a speech that she was giving. Anytime she's questioned on any of these comments, 
um, she immediately talks about um, people's race and stuff like that. So that's Linda Starr's story. So I watched her speech. It was basically, um, this is our America when all she talks about is how much she hates America. Um, but she says we need to take it back from Donald Trump. It's basically the same exact thing that Michelle Obama said. Michelle Obama's whole speech was about how we can't let President Trump be in office. He's destroying our country. Our country is in chaos. And that was basically the gist of the entire Democratic National convention. Not once did they have a platform to stand on. Not once did they say the changes that they want to see or the changes that they're promising. The whole entire thing was, we don't like Donald Trump. We need to get him out of office. And they didn't even do the American people the courtesy of saying exactly what Trump has done that was so bad. Because if you and I know, he has the most uh, Supreme Court justices. Um, all Unemployment across the board was at an all-time low before the pandemic hit. Um, he had historic prison reform, not to mention countless other things and deals and things that he has made um, throughout the, the world, basically. So I found that pretty, e even if I was voting Democrat, I, I would, uh, if I was a Democrat, I would actually be pretty offended by that whole thing. They think I'm so stupid that all they have to do is talk about how much they hate Donald Trump and not tell me what they're going to do for me. But I will tell you what they want, the platform they are running on. They want open borders, higher taxes, defund the police. They want taxpayer-funded abortions. Um, so those are some of the things that, um, oh yeah, and they want to take away your Second Amendment right. So those are some of the things that um, um, you can expect if Democrats win in office, not to mention, oh yeah, no police. They're going to defund the police. But something I want to point out that's really interesting, I don't know if any of you saw the viral ad by a woman who's running for Congress in Elijah Cummings uh, District in Baltimore. Her name is Kimberly Klasick. Um, she is a um, GOP candidate running for Congress. Baltimore, she released a video where she basically walks through one of the bad neighborhoods in Baltimore and is saying that the Democratic Party have turned their back on the black population. She was saying this video is something they don't want you to see. She went there and asked people, do you want to defund the police? They said, absolutely not. Her video got, it went viral yesterday, it got between, it got online about 12.5 million views. Michelle Obama's speech, who we're told is just incredibly popular. Um, and of course, these are only online numbers, but her speech, um, last I looked, was only at just under 3 million views. So that sort of um, goes to show what people are watching. The Democratic National Convention overall isn't getting that many views, um, but this awesome GOP candidate, uh, Kimberly Clasic, who I hope she wins. Um, if you don't know her, look her up, um, watch her video. It's pretty good. Um, another criticism I've heard and the reason that her video is doing so well are Democrats aren't trying anything new. They're not doing any new messaging. It's basically just the same old thing. And I, I that's one of the reasons that Donald Trump won. And I think that's a reason why Kimberly Clasic hopefully will do really well in her election is because they, they're bringing something new. Americans are, are tired of the same messaging. Bring us some Something new give us something different so that is how I feel so far did any of you guys watch it what do you think also what do you think about the Epstein photos do you think that's really bad for Clinton um let me know okay thank you guys bye